Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about intro to the PostgreSQL. So PostgreSQL is quite popular nowadays. If we want to learn PostgreSQL, the first thing we should know what is a PostgreSQL. In this video tutorial, we are going to cover all theoretical information about PostgreSQL. The information is crisp and to point, which means if you are preparing for an interview or want to start working with PostgreSQL, then this is the best tutorial to cover maximum in less time. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video. First, we will know about what is a PostgreSQL, then what is a PostgreSQL used for. After this, disadvantage of PostgreSQL database, then we will learn advantage of PostgreSQL database. At the end, we will know about history of PostgreSQL. Now move to the first topic, what is a PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is a powerful, extremely stable and object relational database management system. PostgreSQL is one of the most popular and trustworthy database system that is used by most organizations, especially startups for their backend development. The simplest thing about PostgreSQL are it is open source, robust, powerful enough to figure on high performance tasks. It is backed up by a strong community. PostgreSQL uses SQL as its main query language. In other words, PostgreSQL is an engine for database. SQL is to interact with the database. The logo of the PostgreSQL is the head of an elephant. Don't confuse it with the logo of Hadoop. Now move to the next topic. What is a PostgreSQL used for? PostgreSQL is used as the primary data store or data warehouse for a many website, mobile, application, geospatial and analytics application. It facilitates developer to create application directors to guard information integrity and build fault tolerance environments. All level of developers, beginners to professional, uses a PostgreSQL to manage their information regardless of the dimension of the information. It works cleanly on each huge and tiny data sets. The next topic is disadvantage of PostgreSQL database. PostgreSQL runs every client into isolation which suggests a new thread of services started for each client. Thus, this consumes additional memory. PostgreSQL consumes additional resources Thus, it is not sensible performance-wise and less awareness concerning the facility of PostgreSQL. Now move to the next topic, advantages of PostgreSQL database. The advantages of PostgreSQL is, it is open source, it is robust, powerful enough to work on high performance tasks, it is backed up by strong community and it supports ACID properties which stand for atomicity, consistency, isolation, Durability. The last topic of this tutorial is history of PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL springs from the Postgres package written at the University of CA at Berkeley. The implementation of Postgres began in 1986 by Professor Michael Stonebreaker. The project was sponsored by Defense Advanced Research Project Agency DARPA, the Army Research Office ARO, the National Science Foundation NSF, ESL Incorporated. In 1994, Andrew and Jolly Chain added, a, added an SQL language interpreter to Postgres. Postgres 95 was the second version and also the code was utterly NCC and the cut in size by 25th. The most important downside of Postgres 95 was it consumes time. Because of that reason by 1996, Postgres 95 was replaced by the Postgres SQL. The thought behind keeping the name Postgres SQL is to maintain the legacy and honor the connection between the first Postgres and also the newer version with the SQL capabilities. The PostgreSQL Global Development Group released a replacement major version containing a new option concerning once a year. Every major version receives bug fixes and if need be, security fixes that square measure free minimum of once each three months. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed post about what is a PostgreSQL on the website sqlserverguides.com. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about intro to PostgreSQL and learn what is a PostgreSQL, what's its advantage and disadvantage with the history of PostgreSQL. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.